Hey there guys, and welcome to another Borderlands 2 video. In this video I'm going to be talking about the Happy Couple boss fight in the Headhunter 4 Valentine's Day DLC called Mad Moxie and the Wedding Day Massacre. Right off the bat, unlike the other three Headhunter DLC bosses so far, I actually found this fight to be quite a challenge. To start off, the dynamic of this fight centers around the fact that you have to fight two bosses simultaneously, Colin and Bridget. However, this isn't what makes this fight difficult. What proves to be the real challenge here is learning how to deal with the constantly and infinitely respawning smaller enemies. For someone like me, who uses the B-Shield as one of their primary sources of damage, there are just so many bullets flying through the air here that it can be hard to actually find an opportunity where my shield is at max capacity and I can actually damage the bosses. If you are using a different build or playing a different class though, it doesn't really rely on having a fully charged shield, you'll probably find this fight significantly easier than I did. Another really really important part of this fight is knowing how to actually defeat this boss. To do this, you have to kill both Colin and Bridget within 15 to 20 seconds or so of each other. Now you can down either of them first, it doesn't really matter, but just make sure you take out the other partner right away. If you do not kill the second partner immediately after downing the first one, after about 5 to 10 seconds or so, the second partner will run over to their fallen lover, spend about 5 seconds standing over them, and then proceed to revive them. The two bosses will then both have their health fully restored, and their level will increase by 1, so you basically have to start this fight all over again. This mechanic comes from the fact that they are goliath type enemies, and the other goliaths in the game usually level up by killing other Borderlands 2 enemies. In this fight, however, they do not level up by killing off the additional enemies, and only level up by reviving. So that being said, you can actually level up these bosses up to, I believe, level 85, where they become the god Lyoth couple. As far as I know, and feel free to correct me in the comments if I am wrong, leveling them up does not increase the quality or quantity of the rewards you receive. So purposely leveling them up would only provide an increased challenge for you, but it is something to do if you are looking for that challenge. As for the strategies, there aren't really any new or interesting tactics that I could find, with one major exception. I mostly just try and use a combination of Deception Mode, Death Mark, Kunai, Slag from the Grog Nozzle, and hopefully my B-Shield is at max capacity, and then I can burst DPS them with the Unkempt Herald. So you can see that with all these things, it's really hard for the stars to align in this fight, and that's why I usually spend the majority of my time running around and looking for cover, and waiting for my shield to recharge, which is why I find this fight frustrating at times. So back to the one exception I have heard about, I've heard of a strategy using a Quasar or Singularity Grenade to pull all the enemies in a group, and then you can utilize Zero's Boar skill to get a massive increase in damage by penetrating through multiple enemies. This tactic is very similar to the same tactic I used in the Hyperius Raid boss video. Overall though, I didn't really find this to be a particularly effective strategy as I noticed that it seems like the couple are resistant to the Singularity Grenade effects, and most of the time they were spread out too far anyway. However, you're welcome to give the strategy a try. So two really important and helpful things you can bring to this fight will be a source of healing. Whether that's from the Law & Order, the Ruby, the Grog Nozzle, or some other class specific healing, it will help you out immensely. The other thing I recommend is a reliable way to second wind. With so many enemies here, there almost always will be an enemy in range of you, and for me it's almost a certainty that I go down at least once in this fight. I use the Grog Nozzle pistol for the healing, and the North Feet Rocket Launcher for second winds. Well that's pretty much the extent of the fight guys. If you are struggling, just keep practicing and this fight will become more and more familiar and easier to do each time. When you do defeat this boss, it will always drop a legendary Thresher Bait, which then can be used to summon the final boss in a series of hidden bosses in this area. I do have a video explaining all of that, if you guys want to check it out, it will be linked in an annotation in the video. One final note I have is to make sure and don't save and quit right away, because the majority of the loot actually arrives via hot air balloon around 30 seconds or more after you defeat the couple. Then you can prepare for an awesome loot explosion. So if you like this video guys, don't forget to give it a like, leave me a comment or subscribe if you aren't already, and thanks for watching.